I just finished my first cardio workout of the day uh, using my new bike, which I'm actually kind of glad uh, I got it because it just makes it easier to get in. Uh, I'll do a cardio session, then I'll go to the gym, do some weights, um, do my day two peak week, so really minimal leg, well, no legs, and I'm not sure what it is today. Um, anyway, uh, and then I'll do another cardio session either at the gym or I'll come back home and use this bike again. It's been a while since I've done a spin sort of class session. I did my own sort of thing, but it's been a while. Um, so I'd like to kind of get back into um, spin shape. Anyway, uh, also the reason why I'm kicking my butt extra hard is we're all human and it's something also I wanted to address in either a post but I just find talking straight to you like this is a lot easier um, falling off the wagon and getting back on uh, and when it's okay to fall off the wagon so I'll try to make this brief because I tend to ramble um, obviously we just had Thanksgiving it's Tuesday today so it's peak week two day two peak week number two for show number two uh, day two of the second peak week um, so we just had Thanksgiving. Yesterday I had my Thanksgiving dinner. So after the show, uh, it was my weakness. It's my weakness. I love, 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 love Swedish berries. Um, I also had a little bit of chocolate. And I also had, <laughs> I hope Mindy doesn't watch this. Uh, or Dennis, Dennis would kill me. Um, and a little bit of wine. And uh, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, whenever I, I don't do it very often, uh, if at all, but when I do um, sort of step outside my lifestyle and eat something that is maybe not exactly clean, I always try to make up for it uh, by you doing extra cardio or taking the stairs or do, just doing something that uh, increases my heart rate a little. Um, just to boost that metabolism some more to keep burning so that when I'm resting I'm still burning uh, my metabolism's pretty good though right because I'm obviously in shape um, but it's kind of like I, I think I, I said it to Jen the other day it's sort of like being a diabetic you know I mess with my insulin so that I can eat carbs uh, I kind of do the same thing I'll up my cardio or I'll lift extra heavy uh, so that when I have eaten something outside the, the meal plan um, I kind of feel good like I'm okay uh, but as I've always said everything in moderation yesterday was a little bit uh, off the wagon <laughs> I had my turkey dinner and it was delicious um, I also had salt and I'm supposed to still be nail salt nail sele um, it was like a little French and Italian there. Uh, I did bring to dinner with me no salt. I love this stuff. Um, you can get it anywhere in a grocery store in the spice section, uh, beside Mrs. Dash, that sort of thing. It's no sodium, no MSG, a quarter tablespoon, tables, a quarter teaspoon is 650 milligrams of potassium and for uh, bodybuilders, figure competitors, anybody that cuts their salt, um, they're usually told to supplement with potassium because your body still needs that. Uh, and when you cut salt and you're dehydrated, you get muscle cramping, so the potassium sort of counteracts that. So this kind of kills two birds with one stone. You get the taste of salt and um, you don't need to supplement. Well, I don't supplement with potassium. But like I said, I'm not a doctor, it's my disclaimer, not a doctor, not a homeopath, not a nutritionist, not a sports therapist, so check with your doctor for all the real stuff. So there, that's out of the way. Uh, so falling off the wagon, you know, it's not advised, uh, especially, especially peak week. <laughs> I know, it's bad. Uh, but damn Thanksgiving for falling right in the middle of two shows. Who who plans these things? Come on. Anyway, um, so two extra cardio sessions today. Also, uh, Auntie Flo came to visit, and um, I'm probably going to do a post on that, just so if guys want to opt out, they don't have to read it. Auntie Flo, uh, which creates cravings, and uh, so I'll talk about how 
I um, deal with that. And then also working out when she's here is difficult. Uh, some people find it difficult. I find it difficult. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that too. Uh, but this pose, the, this vlog was primarily just to discuss falling off the wagon and getting back on. Um, we're all human. I'm human. I do it. And now everything's clean again. Back to everything spot on. Dennis, I promise. I promise. Uh, and it's great now that uh, I have Jen and Agatha because um, they're like, I don't know, you know, like we text each other all day. What did you eat? Did you have this? Did you do this? Uh, Team O'Brien girls. Ah, oh, what a great weekend I had. Can't wait till this weekend. Um, so that's all for now. Going to do another, like I said, another cardio session to make up for that turkey that I had yesterday. And two pieces of pie. Um, very small pieces. A little bit of pumpkin pie and a little bit of apple crisp. Pumpkin and apple, it's good for you, right? Uh, anyway, uh, have a great workout today, guys. Sorry about not posting my workouts last week. It was just so hectic, and I'm going to try to do it this week. Um, not last week's, but I'll do this week's, because it's pretty much the same. It's peak week, no legs, uh, lots of cardio, and well, not lots of cardio, unless you fall off the wagon. I need these things. Um, but lots of upper body stuff, uh, and still lifting heavy. Um, some high rep stuff, that sort of thing. Anyway, I'll post it and let me know. And I think I'm also going to do something about um, what you listen to when you're working out because I just listened to some really cool tunes while I was working out in my living room on my new bike. Awesome. Anyway, have a great workout, guys, and uh, love the comments. Keep them coming. You're the best. Thank you.